Let's have a little conversation. Let's have a little tea time with tea. I'm looking to learn more. And I hope you are too. I am seriously hoping that you are looking to learn as well. Oop. Well, make that a little bit smaller. There we go. Constitutional Convention. I'm looking to learn more, so I hope you guys bring some information. You don't have to follow me, okay? You can click anywhere, hit anywhere on the screen. You don't have to hit follow. Because if we don't agree if our political views cause you so much drama. You can always go right back out the door. Hey there. Hey, horse gent. I think I saw water in here as well. Hey, guys. Good evening, water is wet. Constitutional convention. I want you guys to fill me in. I'm looking for you guys to educate me. Because there are several states that have... On the ballot to do a constitutional convention. What do you guys think of that? What do you know about it? I know it's a real shaky possibility. And let me be up front. It's possible that it can't even be done. That there will not be enough votes. But my other question is, what kind of instability could that cause? What kind of instability could that cause? Because we don't just flip and say, oh, we're going to rewrite the Constitution. I know they said that we should do it every 20 years. But here's the problem. Those people who thought it should be doing every 20 years, I valued their ability to compromise and be willing to negotiate on things. Yeah. We sorely lack that right now. We lack that ability to compromise, to improvise, to actually carry on a solid conversation across the table. But, John, who do you think would be able to actually do that? Con convention's a good idea. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I think it's a good idea, John. Now, name me five people you know that could sit down at a desk, no name calling, being willing to negotiate, and being willing to put the people first. Y'all give me five people. Five people right now. In office. I don't care right or left. Exactly, Gary. Right now, they're so busy. We literally had Marjorie Taylor Greene sit there and shout at someone. You're a liar. I'm like, you're sitting in Congress in the House. You're acting like you're in a fucking bar. Honey, that's not what we're talking about today. 3376. Come back another time. Come back another time. No. It's how you handle things. She failed to be able to handle it. She failed to be able to have the decorum and the negotiation and the proper way that you speak to people. And who in our job would do that? If you're sitting at a round table and you're talking about shit, do you honestly think you'd keep your fucking job if you hauled off and shouted at the person at the other table? You're a liar! Would you keep your damn job? I mean, I watched her do that and I'm like, wait a minute. Hold up. You're at work. Getting a paycheck from us, we the people, 
and you're acting like you're in a fucking bar. What the hell? What the hell is wrong that you don't understand that we pay you to do a fucking job? We hire your ass. You don't hire us. We hire you. We offer you the opportunity to serve us. Not the other way around. You can't sit and talk with anyone that thinks they'll... Then there's one person right there, Gary, you would not have on the team. You would absolutely not have on the negotiating team. I understand people. That there are people who really want a constitutional convention. They want the Constitution to be edited and rewritten. I got gotcha. you. Here's the problem, and I'm going to say it again. Who do you trust to do that? Name me five people that you would trust to do that. Who could you trust to put the people first? That's it. The news should be laws. Danny, you are right. You are right. This is the problem. This is the danger. But Texas has it on the ballot. And by the way, early voting in Texas starts tomorrow, the 24th. Pennsylvania wants to put it on there. Idaho wants to put it on there. I'm sure Florida is ready to chip in. And South Carolina. No, rewritten. It needs reread, not rewritten. Yeah, you, you, you might have a point there. You, to institute a constitutional convention. Actually, a um, convention of states. Which then leads to a constitutional convention. You have to get so many states on board. I believe it's 34. They have 19, by the way. Don't think they're starting off at one. There are literally 19 states that want to do, want to rewrite the Constitution. How do you need, how would you get a new Constitution 21? Who would you trust? Who would you trust? Who would you trust? For term limits. But see, once you start going, yeah, you could put term limits in their bio. But when you redo the Constitution, everything opens up. There's no restriction that you can only change term limits. Once you open it, you open the whole thing. Yeah, it was supposed to be revised every 20 years. And as I keep saying... Name me five people you would trust to put the people before their own opinions. Not today. Hey, Rick. Not in this country. There was a young man over on Barrister last night, and he was wrong to a certain point. He learned something new, and he thought no one else knew it. Yeah, other people know about a uh, constitutional convention and about the rewriting of the Constitution. Yeah, we know it. Honestly, left, right, nobody. And I'm right there with you. There is literally no one that I actually fucking trust. To I'm here to negotiate for the... I haven't heard it. I don't know anybody. What's cracking tea? Hey, Swervy, Swervy. How you doing, Swervy? I'm doing good. Hanging in there. My knees are giving out on me. But, I mean, it's also been incredibly cold here in Ohio these past couple days. You've been raining. It's been raining. We've had rain, sleet, and snow. 
Yep. Awesome. I'm, Arthur has come I'm to sitting play. here like curse you, Ohio. But um, so I, I took a pretty deep dive on this whole constitutional convention thing. Well, deep is a strong word. I took a dive onto it, right? Okay. And I came across this gentleman on uh, on YouTube, and he had mm-hmm. a series of videos on uh, constitutional law amendments, and he also has a great video on um, <coughs> the convention. Mm-hmm. Which, if I remember correctly, it's like six and a half minutes. Mm-hmm. But he basically explains what it is, how it comes to be. And as recently as January, the 17th state has already signed on to it. Now, Mm -hmm. what I also discovered was, I I think it was New Hampshire. They also signed on to it, but they put an expiration date on it as well. Saying if this doesn't happen by a certain day, we're out. New Hampshire's going to be out, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now... In reading this or listening to this, the main group or organization that is trying to bring this to fruition, and this is what frightened me, okay? Move, Prince, come on. I'm sorry, I'm still trying to get organized. I just got back from picking up some dinner. Um, But one of these groups that right now looks like there's about 18 states that have signed signed on for this. There's 19 now. It's been sponsored by a group known as the Convention of States. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And they're kind of a radical right-wing group. They Mm -hmm. They want to take all this power back from government when it comes to vaccine mandates. Even though it was not the federal government that put vaccine mandates in place for the states... That was done by the state's governors, yep. right? That's one That's one of their reasons. Um, but some of the things, um, like this is their mission statement. Simple, to bring power back to the states and the people where it belongs. Unelected bureaucrats in Washington, D.C. shouldn't be allowed to make sweeping decisions that impact millions of Americans. Which unelected bureaucrat, I mean, aren't our congressmen and senators... Aren't they all elected officials? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, okay. uh-huh. All right. So moving on. Um, so it all boils down to one question. What do you, or who do you think should decide what's best for you and your family? You or the feds? We'd vote for the American people every single time. Now, I can answer. I'm going to give you three choices to that question. Who do you think is best to make decisions for you and your family? You, the federal government, or the state government? That we answer. elect the state government. We make and the decisions. And that's true. Our state government is democratically elected. But look at some of these states right now who are making decisions for you, your health care choices, and stuff like that. So why would I want those same people? And people will make the argument, well, they were democratically elected, blah, 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 blah. Okay, fine. We have to look at language because the whole purpose of the Constitutional Convention is to make amendment changes, right? Mm -hmm. So what if they change an amendment to say the states can appoint, not elect, appoint a certain group of people to oversee a certain set of things. Mm-hmm. Like, I, let me let me give you an idea as to how dangerous that can be. Look what Ron DeSantis did when he appointed a group of non-elected officials to try to oversee Disney. So what's to say you won't get something known as an abortion czar? I'm going to appoint this person as my czar on yep. women's health care choices. Well, one, that person is a man. Two... He's a re- he's a retired gym coach whose son just happens to be dating your daughter. Why mm-hmm. would why in the hell would you appoint? And that's where we have to be careful with the language. If people mm-hmm. are allowed to appoint, 
then we're going to have a serious problem. And let me drop a little nugget in there. Do you guys remember when they said when the Republican Party takes back the House, they could put anybody in as the speaker. They, for, at one point, were floating around, we could put Trump in as speaker. We could make him speaker because it's not written anywhere yep. that that position has to be elected. That Understand is it. If they got enough and they called a constitutional convention to rewrite the fucking constitution, the people who rewrite it don't have to be elected. There's that same little gap in there. Yeah, the so appointed if you delegates. Wanted, um, you wanted, uh, I don't know, uh, the head of Amazon to have a hand in writing. Would you, um, hey, Zuckerberg, we no. value your opinion and we're rewriting the Constitution. What do you think we should put in there? No, let's get, uh, let's get Herschel Walker in there. Let's get rid. Let's get rid of all these rules about overtime. Let's get rid of that shit. You just yeah. work, and if you don't work, we get to fire you. Let's let's get Kanye West in there as our delegate to help rewrite the Constitution. We already know where he stands. Candace Owens, Josh Shapiro, Steve Bannon. These are the types of people who would be picked. People who have a very narrow-minded, dogmatic view of the world. Everything revolves around God. Everything else is secondary. And then what happens to the rest of us? So, yeah, some things just don't work for me. Some things just ain't going to work for me ever. But don't I don't, I, we, we don't understand. It's dangerous. I don't trust anybody right now, right or left. If the Constitution was being rewritten, I don't trust them because they're too much of a clique, of a cult, that they only want what they want. Yep. Yep. And isn't that the sad part? Like, you know, especially coming from the red states, if we hit 34 out of the red states first, you know the type of people they're going to send. You already know. Hold on. Hmm? Hold on. Someone said, oh, this just screams GED. Did you look up the election coming up in your state, Texas? You know, the yeah. ones that start early voting starts tomorrow. Yeah. I ain't got no GED. And here's the thing. The thing is, Texas actually has it on the fucking ballot, whether to agree or not to to a convention of states, which then leads to a a constitutional convention. Yeah. Did, did you know that was going on in your state? Because the daughters of the Confederacy and the evangelicals are keeping it real quiet. I don't think I've ever had that. As I said, last night, there was a young man on Barrister, and he sounded young, and he sounded, um, he was concerned, but he didn't have a, the right amount of information, and there were older people there who kept telling, it'll never happen, it's impossible, uh, you know, you know, if, if they may get the convention of states done, but the actual, um, Confe um, constitutional convention. They're not going to get to the right amount of people. I understand it takes three thirds of the states to bear to to ratify it. I understand that. Mm -hmm. But speaking for myself, uh, the Voting Rights Act. People said it'll never go away. It does not exist right now. It has not been re ratified in over four fucking years. Yep. Why do you think they're rewriting all these election laws? Because it doesn't exist anymore. And we said Roe v. Wade. Oh, it's not going anywhere. Uh, yeah, it'll never go anywhere. It's gone. Never say never. So I, I got a little ticked off last night when 
the guests in, in Barristers Live kept saying, it's not, it, it'll never happen. You don't know what you're talking about. And the more they said that, the more frustrated this young guy got. And Barrister nailed him down to one solid thing. He started saying, you boomers, you, 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 you Gen Xers, you, you don't know what you're talking about. That's why the world is the way it is. You could hear the frustration in his voice. Yeah. He was getting frustrated. But Barrister brought him back on point by asking, ask exactly where we stand on this. Ask exactly, are we aware of this? Do we know about it? Because the young man kept saying, y'all, I, I don't know if y'all know or not, but this is going on. I don't know where I'm concerned about this. I don't know. All you had to say was, yes, we know. Now, why do you think it's a, such a threat? A real conversation, but there was a certain. I think the. I think we can we can take another look at the example of people getting appointed to intentionally do nefarious things. Like I mentioned earlier, Kanye West could be appointed as a delegate, right? And we already know what a racist he is. Um, look at look at how they changed the law in Georgia that basically says if they don't like the way the election is going, they can appoint a special county official to take control of the election and stop the count in progress. And I'm just like, or something to that effect. And I'm just like, this is the danger about the word appoint, you know, and it just, that's what's scary about it. You know, there's some things I believe I'll never live to see. I will never live to see the sun burn out. I already know that. I will never live to see the oceans run dry. But right. the way these Republicans are moving just these archaic bills through state legislatures. I was just before I came in here, before I went and picked up dinner, I, I dropped by another live. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to make it uh, either drag queen or transgenderism in Florida mm -hmm. being a sex crime. Hey, hey, bring back. What's up, Daniel? Hey, I'm good. I'm good. Just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to decompress this guy, Christian, and you know, in alive earlier. <clears throat> Have you ever been confused by how somebody ended up so dumb? That, no, no, I stopped. I stopped working on it. I stopped it. <laughs> it hurts too much. It hurts too much. I felt like I was going to have a stroke, so I just gave up. Give up? No. Pull back. Oh, it, yeah. So, um, we were talking about um, uh, conventional states and a constitutional convention. Mm -hmm. Possibility and the results of it. I don't believe right now. It's too close of a split. You need 37 states. They are 19. Yeah. Um, thing is, do you think we could flip about half of the rest of them? I don't know. Could they flip us? Because right now in South, in, here in North Carolina, we have a Democratic governor, but we now have a solidly Republican House. Yes. And, and this that's is the case. where the bill would come from. Yeah. And this is the case when it comes to this sort of thing in a lot of these states. I mean, You'll have, yeah. you'll have Democratic governorships and even Democratic legislatures, but it's nowhere nowhere in the country is it the other way around, that you have a Republican governor and a Democratic legislature. Not one state has that. Right. And that's right. the issue. They are willing to be irrational, a bit ridiculous, yeah. hypocritical even. They don't really care. And right. they are perfectly willing to do that on the other side. If we mm -hmm. they mention themselves, then they, they get upset at us for why are you making it left versus right? Dude, you're the one that mentioned being a Republican. What are you talking about? <laughs> like and then if we bring it up because it's relevant to maybe the topic regarding the vote, then they say, Oh, you see, keep making it all about Republican versus Democrat. Okay. No, I'm pointing out the actual choices of the vote because yeah, we're talking about why it didn't pass or right. why you can't give this person con you can't give them 
credit for getting something done if they were in opposition to it, vocally and visibly. Right. Let me see if I can put this little bee in your bonnet. What if you had one of these states that has a supermajority of Republicans uh, and a Democratic governor? Then the supermajority can overrule the governor and put their state in it anyway. Yep. Yep. That's what I'm looking at, looking at in North Carolina. They could bring up the fucking bill, put it in, put it on the ballot or just vote on it. And the and the Democratic governor can't do nothing. He can't do nothing. Mm-hmm. Right now, they're believe, at 19. That I believe, them at the I believe that's the plan for them. Remember, mm-hmm. they can't now they're doing everything to avoid having to actually gain voters. They know they can't anymore or mm-hmm. it's not in any meaningful way. They've lost the, the younger generation, which is why they're trying to raise the voting age. So at this point, they're trying to go around it in full on authoritarianism that, OK, fine. If they don't want to do what we want, we're going to say we're protecting kids, then do something that harms certain kids and basically legislate our religion. It happens state after state after state. And every time we, we say, well, they're going to go further than that. It's not just K through third. That's not what they meant. And then what happens? Fast forward a month and a half later, they're going after high school kids, too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That, this, is what, this is why I was so sympathetic to the young man that was in Barrister's Live last night that I could hear he's he wasn't looking. He was looking big picture. He was saying, what if? And my favorite comic book was always, what if this happens? That was what he was trying to have a conversation about. And he kept being told, it'll never happen. It's impossible. It won't happen. And he he kept getting more frustrated every time they said, it'll never happen and it couldn't happen. To the point where he said, look at the state of the freaking world. Look at what has already happened that your generation mm-hmm. has let happen. Look at what's happened that someone asked them, what if? And their There's only person- response was, it'll never happen. There's a person in the comments. There's a person in the comments. Uh, this person, the actual conservative. He asked a question that I think that kind of is indicative of what we're talking about. He asked, does the process of calling for a convention of the states upset y'all? We're not saying that it upsets us. We're saying that this is a plan, and they've been saying this very clearly. It's not my. It's not what I'm saying. It's what was said at CPAC. Conservatives yep. said this. This was their plan. We're pointing yep. out they're doing that thing they said they were going to do. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So yeah, you should be concerned because even if this does not succeed, let's say fine, they 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 get the convention of states, they try to get a, con- a a constitutional convention and they fail the disservice and the the um destabilization could be the whole point that's it that's all they want okay this i i want to address something real fast all right this person the actual conservative mm-hmm. get in the box and actually have the conversation instead of making these little statements where you're just ignoring half of what was actually said. Nuance is what actually creates understanding. I'm not saying it's not constitutional. What we're saying is that it's intentional to avoid actually having to convince voters. Okay. Hey, thank you. Thank you. I've only been commenting for 30 or 40 minutes, but anyway, a constitutional convention. No one's and- saying it's not constitutional. Why are you? Did you come up here to tell us a thing that we didn't say at all? Wait, 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 wait. The Constitution. Wait. 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 Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Constitution. Constitutional. A convention of the states will Uh not lead to a constitutional convention. That's where you're wrong. First off, if you want to create an amendment. How are the, what are the ways that you can do this? To the Constitution. To make an amendment there, are, Constitution. there are two ways. You yeah. need a supermajority in Congress or you need two-thirds of the states to bring seven. it up and you need three-quarters of the states to ratify it. That's there what it we're is. talking about. And that's what we're talking about. Okay. 
Yep. That's what we're talking about. We're not saying it's not constitutional. We're saying that because they can't actually get Congress to do that, but they can't actually get get the things that they want in their agenda. They can't actually convince the majority of voters, whether it be regarding actual majority rule votes, you know, popular vote, or ones that require mob, mob, mob rule. This is an you issue. Mean mob rule. No, I'm talking of no. Okay, okay. Let me ask you something. All right. Uh, what state are you in? Georgia. Okay. In the state of Georgia, there are about 160 counties, right? My whole family lives in Atlanta. I went to Clarkson High School. Okay. All right? Okay. Now, when I was there, and I've lived there recently, all right, 160 counties, but half, more than half of the state's population live in just three. Four, if you want to be almost at uh, three quarters. All right? Gwinnett, Fulton, DeKalb. You add okay. Cobb County, and it's over. Okay. All right? Now, the thing is this. The fact that the other counties have so few per county, so few people, actual voters per county, the fact that they have a lot of land mass compared to the Atlanta metro area. 19, baby. All right? That's the thing we're talking about. The fact okay, that there are a lot so, of counties, so, so, so and they the live and they have so, so few people. So the metropolitan areas on the east and west coast should rule by your mob, math is not mapping with that that's mob. a ridiculous statement we that's can't do that there aren't we enough people in those conservative. cities sorry hold on a minute um bring facts we can't do that so you can't fictitiously pull that up there's a reason why there are so many senators for each state to balance it out Exactly. That that's exactly. been existing forever. Exactly. Okay. Right. And there so are the seventeenth like the seventeenth amendment changed that, but it was it was ratified. So yeah, I but mean, it's, no. But what we're, try, what we're trying to point out here is that the idea that it would be mob rule because of big cities, the cities don't have the electoral college votes in order to do that thing as far as the president and as far as their senators and such, it's only proportional to their amount. And the congressional districts don't make that this, the thing. What you're describing is not mathematically possible, but it's a nice talking point. Oh, okay. So the the Article 5 just doesn't exist. Look it up. Look it up, honey. I'm aware. Go ahead. We don't. We don't. That's a half, that was a half of a point that you just made. Okay, so our Article Five, our, 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 our Fives, Article Five provides two ways to amend the Constitution. Correct? Yes, that's what we're talking about. We okay. just know that. Okay, so what to amend the Constitution? What does Article Five say? You need to have a constitutional convention of states. No. Or, 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 Christ, or, it can, or, a or two thirds majority and a convention of states yeah. are two different things. Do we are aware of that. We have made it very clear. Okay. Well, she didn't say that. She yes, she did. Mixed yes, she did. Together. Yes, okay. she did. She said yes, it twice. Did. Okay. Muchas gracias. Okay. So, who can call what was that? What? What was even that? What was that? I said muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Yeah. Okay, so who uh, all right, so on the federal level, who can call for a constitutional convention? Congress. Okay, on the state level, who can call for a convention of the states? They don't. They don't. You've already proved you don't know what you're talking about, so please See, don't. you just came in here while we were talking about that. Okay, so I'm, I'm proving you, you, I'm proving you don't know what you're talking right? about. Oh, we so, literally so, already gave the answer. Vote. You asked at the federal level, we said Congress. You asked okay. state level, we said state house. Your point. The state houses, correct? How, how many state said. houses are there? You asked the question, we answered. Then why did you pretend not to hear us? How many state Every houses state are there? One. 50. 50. Okay, you're, you're better than Barack. Not 57. Okay. 
I'm so, oh my God. You, 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 no, you just no. told me. No, no, no. Talk. You've been you drafting to hear your talk. To every sentence. Yeah. Yeah. Wendy, you let, talking let, to have your let opinion. Me out, let talk. me out if y'all are cowards. But no, baby, you don't, too damn dumber than a box of rocks. Damn. Good Lord. And you're going to come in and repeat what we've been talking about for 40 minutes. Like it's some kind of flex. <laughs> You're wrong by saying what you've been saying this entire time. Ignorant and ass. what we have been discussing all this time. Wow. Oh See what my I mean? God. See what I mean? See what I mean, T? See what I mean, T? Nuclear power is stupid. It was stupid. Was... <laughs> hold on. I'm gonna, How many I'm gonna... safe houses are there? Can y'all hold on what? a minute? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go sit on the toilet and have a stroke real quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. I mean, right. Jesus Christ. What, oh hey, if you really want to make it, if you really want to make it funny, get a sharpie and write "hunka hunka burning love" on your chest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And then, what I wanted to get to was Article Five. Once you start rewriting the Constitution, they just like um, if um, remember when they were talking about? I'll repeat it again. Uh, Trump could have been the head of of the um house. Yeah, because it's not written anywhere that the person has, has to, to be, be elected. Yeah, yeah. Article five. There's nothing written anywhere that says someone who's been sworn in has to edit it. Yeah, or has to rewrite it. Yep, yep. And that's what we we're talking about: the appointed delegates. They can pick anybody, just like we pick ambassadors. Those ambassadors yep. are delegates overseas. Yep, that's who they are. So we could you imagine who could you who could you think of that could rewrite our constitution, rewrite Article Five, rewrite? Hey, while y'all thinking about this, what about the Second Amendment? Could we just wipe that out? If you had the right delegates in there, sure. But again, I'm not trying. To, I don't want to get rid of the Second Amendment. The only thing no, is, the is, is, we need to enforce it. We need to actually enforce it. If you no, get what the right saying, delegates no, what in there. What we're saying is, if, the, if, the, if it was rewritten and they also chosen to, chose to edit the amendments as well, the fuck could they not do? What they could they could, not do? They could change the Second Amendment around a little bit, but, you know, that's going to cause all kinds of uproar and people getting voted in and out of office left and right and all kinds of violence. I can tell you that right now because mm -hmm. these people ain't giving up their guns for nothing. And, but, um, wait, but, but once you once you're in there, once you open that book, you don't need to know until it's done. Then what the fuck you gonna do? Oh, it's they totally, make the voting rules. It's totally secret. Just like when the Constitution was written and ratified, it was totally secret until after it was done. Yep. And the colony started to sign off on it. Yep. So imagine they, uh, they had a few amendment changes, which became the Bill of Rights. Which are the, what the first ten or eleven amendments in the Constitution, and Pretend. that was it. Now this person, Dragon Wolf zero two three. Why don't you get in the box and elaborate why you think that the Second Amendment is perfect as it? I personally am not saying that we need to change the Constitution. The Constitution has already been, um, it's already, but this has already been adjudicated in D.C. v. Heller regarding the Second Amendment. You have a right to personal weapon gun ownership. You're at work but in the regulation you're screwing is not around just, on TikTok? Yeah, it's not just constitutional. It's required. Wait, wait a minute, Dan. Please. Hold on a second. Dan, hold on a second. You're at work in the ICU, and you're screwing around on TikTok. There's what downtime. the F is wrong with you? There's a lot of dying downtime on the ICU. That's okay. Sometime in between surgeries, I in between procedures. Yeah. They go for a long time. Sometimes you get long lulls. It's it's feast and famine. What what? It's, what it's either oh my god or snore time. What if somebody? Okay, they rewrite the constitution. Let's say they make it there, and they decide instead of voting every four years, you're only allowed to vote every other twelve years. We're going to change it. It's more efficient that way. Well, Think of, think about this, T, and this is what I was saying earlier about the delegates. Our our nation is so polarized through the lens of social media, regular media, newspaper articles, news stories that we see here and there. 
we are able to look at everybody through a microscope. So we would know what kind of changes could we could be in for just simply by knowing the delegates that were sent. We could know all but, of that. But we wouldn't have any say in who the delegates are. Nope. And that's the problem. Like I said, you could get Kanye. You could get right Kim now, Kardashian. Right now, I can honest. I'll ask, I'll ask you two. I'll ask um, Daniel first. What five people, what five senators do you think you could safely say, I trust them to rewrite or edit the Constitution? I decide. Right um, left. If I was going to pick five, I would want two Republicans and three Democrats. And the three Democrats I would choose aren't even serving together. It would be I would choose I would choose uh, Liz Cheney. I would want I would be cool with AOC. I would be cool with Cory Bush. I would be cool with uh, Cory Booker. And I would actually this is going to be one that might be a bit controversial. I would actually, I would actually be down for uh, freaking um, what's his name, um, freaking Dan Crenshaw. I want someone from the extreme arm. Oh hell no, you lost your mind. I'm done. I'm out. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, I want somebody from the extreme arm. We need a contrast. We need counterbalance. Because the thing is, otherwise they're not going to be, they're not going to claim that they don't have representation. And the thing is, in that, in that, uh, in that group. We're going to have a representation of practically every strata, every sort of mindset, every sort of perspective, starting point in their life, education level, on and on and on and on and on. All right. And, you know, different occupations, what have you, prior to certain, coming into actual service. Now, the thing is, I think Dan Crenshaw would embarrass himself most of the time. Liz Cheney would, be, would try, is there to keep him in line. AOC is most likely going to end up the leader of the group. All right. And Cori Bush is basically going to Cori Bush. This is going to be this to me would be freaking glorious. All right. And because the thing is, we've got some, we've got progressives. We've got some pretty moderate. I got a moderate, moderate Republican and we've got an actual far right Republican. All right. See, I would have went a different route. I would have, I could see AOC sitting there, but also AOC. I would have threw in, I would have threw I in. love when people try to, AOC is an idiot. Mean the woman with, who was a double major yeah. in the prestigious I, college I, in economics on, and international hold affairs. On, Dan, hold on, hold on, hold on, buddy. I could see AOC sitting there. I could see Bernie Sanders or Angus King sitting there. Because they're both independents. They both just know what's right. When you start talking about things like federally uh, mandated minimum wages. Okay. When you start talking about things like universal health care. So I could see either one of them in there. I yeah, could I see. There's, I could there's see people in here Adam, saying Jamie Raskin. I could see Adam Kinzinger in there. I could see. uh <clears throat> And and for me, I, I ain't gonna lie to you, Adam or Liz would be a stretch, but I would go with Adam because even though he's a conservative, he is still one of the last true traditional conservatives that I would consider to still be around. Okay. I, I, I think, hear I hear I what you're saying. The only thing is you need something, you've got to give something to the other yeah, let side. Me, let me let me get this out. Let me get this out. The last person I could see being in there would be, um, oh shit, the name just slipped right. I, I would want, I would agree with you. I would want that extreme person in there. So I would put in there Jim Matt Jordan, either him or Josh Hawley. Because one, either one of them are going to embarrass the hell out of themselves. They're just going to embarrass the hell out of themselves. I can see him sitting across the table. Well, look, we saw you running on video. What are you, what are you talking about? Right. But they, uh -huh. they would bring that extreme point of view, and that way you would have Adam looking at him going, man, what the hell is wrong with you? AOC, what the hell is wrong with you? Bernie or Angus, what in the hell is wrong with you? Right? What would he be saying they are both such hypocrites. What would he be saying to AOC about what's wrong with him? They're him. both such hypocrites, it wouldn't even be funny. It you would depend on what they tried to push. 
you need someone who's going to call someone on their bull crap. I think AOC would do that. I know Corey Bush would. I know Bernie Sanders would too. Yeah, but th this is the issue. All right. I still want that I, independent in there, whether he calls them on their bullshit or not. I still want that independent in there. Okay. Then, That'd be nice. I, I would be down with this if this was Bernie 20 years ago. Yeah. He's yeah, still trying. It, it's not that it's not a cognitive thing, it's a generational thing. All right. This is the thing. If if uh if Dr. King was still alive, say he was never assassinated, there's no way in the world he'd be in charge of the movement. He could not be that. He could not be that guy today. He would have <laughs> retired by now. And you gotta re you gotta remember one of the things um that they tried writing into the original constitution was term limits. They tried putting that's that in there and they took it out. You know, so yeah, I personally, and this is just me, I don't know how everybody else feels about it. This isn't me being an ageist or anything like that. But I don't believe anybody born in the last century, like around the 50s or 60s, should be governing this country right now. That's if just my personal belief. Your, my, my thing is that if you, if you, if you were, were old, old, if you were old enough. Of TV, I'm sorry, Daniel. If you were born what? before the creation of TV, you don't need to be in office. Um, I would actually go further than that. I would actually go go further than that. I I believe that if if you are old enough to have been in college prior to the Civil Rights Act or the Voting Rights Act, bye. I'll do you one even better. Yeah. If you still owe Moses a nickel for the or uh, not Moses but Noah a nickel for the price of the ferry, yeah, you got to go. You got to go. But I, I don't believe anybody. And and that's what I meant. You know, right right before the civil rights movement, you had so many of these people born. Bernie Sanders, Chuck Grassley, Joe Biden, mm -hmm. uh, Donald Trump. They should not be governing this country. Uh, this person, Castle Hill, says, who has stepped up? Who are you referring to? We need people. Are you looking in your area, Castle? Who do We've you know? Lots of people who trying do you to think? There are people who are here on TikTok who are currently running for office trying to actually do that, be that change. Yeah. Diane Feinstein, gotta go. Man, she, Younger she, people she, will vote for older persons. No, they won't. Uh-uh. You give them a good candidate. They don't want gray hair walking around with the dust of death puffing out their shoes. <laughs> they don't want that. All right, here's That's something that I've been teaching. This is something I teach my kids. This is something that I try and teach my kids. All right? Whatever profession they choose for the rest of their life, they're going to go into. Whenever they come out of when they come out of school, training, all right? While they're in school, I don't care what college you go to, what university or even certification program you go to. While you're in that, you have the newest, most up-to-date information and, and maybe even uh, machinery, the mechanisms, and ideas. But the bosses you're going to have when you finally work in that industry are products of the old way of doing things. Yep. So this idea about this thing about experience, most of them cannot see because cannot see the force for the truth. They. Uh, this is the thing. If the the current Democratic Party, if they were smart in any sort of way, I mean, able to see the force for the trees, they would realize it's kind of weird that we keep flip flopping over and over again. But the freaking progressives, they keep growing. That squad is growing. It's never diminished. Yeah, cycle after yeah. cycle after cycle after cycle. Ain't that yeah. weird? Maybe they had the cheat code. Oh, they do town halls. Oh, they actually use social media as almost as, ver as their version as a town hall to speak to the directly to their constituents. Oh, they actually work on behalf of their constituents while keeping the greater good in, 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 in mind. All right. Oh, when they have extra time, they've even gone out of their way to help people in other districts, in other states. How the heck is mm -hmm. freaking Ted Cruz off in Cancun while AOC is raising five million dollars, shows up and she's literally helping boots on the ground in Texas during a cold snap? That's what happened. I kind of like this comment here by Cheap Seat Warrior. 
It'd be wild if Anonymous hacks Congress's med records. How many are on incontinence products, etc.? <laughs> I can't get Hey, hold up. Hey, water is wet. Um, Dragon Wolf, I told him about the guy who's um, a factory worker running. Can you please put his name in the comments? They would like to look them up and, you know, do, do you know, do a little follow up. Thank you, water is wet. Or Daniel, uh, what's the name of the other guy that that's running for office? Ah, uh, shoot, uh, what's his name? Um, Eli when it comes for, up, put it, it in the Eli comments. Eli for Congress. Eli yeah. for Congress. Uh, is it Adam or Andrew or? You got the one guy on here, Travis for Congress. Travis yeah. for Congress. Um, I don't know if you know Melanated Judge. She's talking about running. Okay, I want Dragon Wolf to know because um. Basically, they asked in the comment, who else? Who else do we have? We need okay, more Dragon Wolf. Here. Dragon Wolf. This is a thing. There's a thing called the act. Like when I was talking about the progressives, such as the squad, every single one of them, they couldn't possibly be paid for by any of these companies because they actually pledged and then stuck to it regarding sing we're get to actually doing no PAC money. There's no dark money whatsoever. Yeah. And it's but been you- effective. Dragon Wolf is looking for non established politicians. West Virginia Mother Runner is running as well. Yeah, Crazy Mother Runner. Yeah, I have. Oh, well, yeah. There you go. This is the thing. Dragon Wolf, this is an issue I have with, with the thing that you're saying right now. This idea of no more politicians. Why is it that suddenly when young people are actually running and they're actually being effective and they're coming from actual walks of life where they dealt with these issues with their constituents deal with, such as AOC having to be, be dealing with, she's basically trying to help unions within her district. She saved them $10 billion in freaking tax breaks to Amazon. She's done all of these things and she's actually being effective in her district and on the national stage. Those things that I'm talking about here, that's a right, very right, simple, right. basic thing. But here's, that's what, here's okay. That's okay. Daniel, that is cool. She did that. She is now an established politician. We're looking for boots on the ground, the beginning people. Where she was, we want them in there now. Wait a minute. Here's what I would say. When they come to the point... She's only like, had two terms. Right, yeah, what I'm saying is, I yeah, she's an established politician. Sure, she's had two terms. She's on her second one now. Um, or what, is this her third term? This is She just began her third. Yeah, okay. so... It, what what I'm trying to say is when people decide to run as a politician, once they dip that toe into their pool, it's already wet. They're going to be a politician. Mm-hmm. They become politicians. Yep. Now, it might be great if they came from nothing like AOC did, uh, Corey Bush did. Corey um, Bush was homeless. Yeah, she was homeless. That's why she didn't mind sleeping on the stairs with them that night, you know. <laughs> But the fact of the matter, and I'm not saying it to be funny. She knew what it would be like. She came. No, she made the joke herself. Yep. Yes, she did. Yeah. Yes, she did. Just, and I, okay, I, this person, J.K. Reed. I'm, I'm. Yeah, you're ridiculous. You're being ridiculous here. Everybody is. The entire system is now corrupt simply because we have examples. We're. You need to point out how she's corrupt. You know, just get to just say everybody is now that your folks are not actually. And I say your folks because you're arguing right wing talking points, but you're trying to straddle and pretend that you're somehow a moderate. You're not. Lie to yourself. Don't lie to us. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. This right here from um, Ulysses S. Grant. If we have another contest in the future of our national existence, I predict that the dividing line will not be Mason-Dixon, but between patriotism, intelligence on the one side, and superstition, ambition, and ignorance on the other. And we're looking at that. We have lost people who don't know how to say, you know what? I got screwed over. They lied to me. I got conned. They cannot, that you can get them right to the edge of that, of the sea, and then they start with, what about Obama? What about Hillary? What about, what about, what, what about Benghazi? 
What about what about Joe Biden in 1993 with Tara Reid? That's how yep. far to go back. But Dan, let me ask a quick question um, and and try to keep it brief. Local engineer <laughs> says AOC did not come from nothing. Tell me you've never been to Manhattanville, Swerving. Um, was AOC's parents wealthy? Not even close. They were lower middle class, and that was only towards the end. Didn't uh, she before, work at a bar while yeah, she put herself through college? Yes, she did. She got scholarships, and she worked her way through as a waitress. Yeah, so local engineer, tell me you don't know anything without telling me you don't know anything. <laughs> Two jobs in college. I don't, she was, I don't she was, know where the hell Manhattanville is. It's near Rock. Because she was a bartender, yeah. She was a bartender and she was a waitress. Yeah. She, she had two jobs while she was in college. Yeah. And she was a double major. Do you know how hardworking you have to be? To be a double, she was doing a double major while working two full-time jobs. And she still go, goes back to New York from time to time. Yeah. It blows me away. She worked. But somehow now we look down our nose at someone who worked their way up, oh, who was not now. born with a silver spoon in their mouth, who did were not born a, a <laughs> billionaire. Apparently now I'm a liar. No, I think he's saying I think they're saying that I'm a liar. No, he said you had to appeal to a liar, Swerving. Everybody in here is you lying. Asked me. You, you asked guess. me. I, I think they're referring to me. Oh, no, okay. Stop looking at the comments. T, go on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, told, I tell y'all, leave them comments alone. We, we, we have. A, I want people to understand. The Republican Party has a 100 year plan, drawn up by Newt Gingrich. Mm -hmm. Take judgeships. Take local government. Take mayors, governors, state houses, and the Supreme Court. And they're doing it. They have a plan and they're sticking to it. And I keep looking at, at Democrats going, where the fuck y'all plan at? These they are not in, they were, yeah, they couldn't do it in Newt's day because back then they were still actually, they were they were not willing to cheat. Like, you know, stealing 250 federal judgeships from Obama like they did. Look at the in Newt's day, they weren't willing to do something like that. But Look hey, John, Bain, John Boehner and Mitch McConnell were perfectly willing to do it. Look at the boss move Mitch McConnell's made last week when they finally got Feinstein to say, well, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be out. Maybe um, maybe Schumer could sit in on the Justice Committee, you know, clearing of judges, the placement of judges. McConnell literally drug his ass out of his out of his sick bed or his crypt and said, oh, no, you can't do that. We can't vote on any judges. She has to be here. Isn't that the same shit he did under under Obama and blocked 200 judges? And as soon as Trump was sworn in, every judge he could, he put in anywhere he could. Like the one in Texas that blocked the abortion pill. And the Democrats are sitting there. Ain't nobody showed up at Feinstein's damn door to knock on and say, Hey, here's your resignation. You need to sign this effective immediately. Newsom's got people to put in there for you. Because he's allowed to put someone in without it going through everything. Mm -hmm. Time to go, Feinstein. I'll, I'll, I'm serious. Amy Coney Barrett is what I was absolutely, she was basically the canary in the coal mine for me when it came to the SCOTUS. All right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I should not be able to make this statement. And I say this over and over again because I need people to really hear it. If you have ever gone to traffic court to defend you and defended yourself, you have more trial experience than Amy Coney Barrett. Yep. Yep. Exactly. The, he, the, look at the one that blocked um, that was playing around down in Florida. Talking about we need to have a committee to review the paperwork that was found in Trump's home. She has mm, experience. Let me pay him back for giving me this lifetime judgeship. Hey, I'm actually going to step down. Maybe they might be willing to actually come up and talk to you guys if I'm not here. Because I think I maybe I can be contentious. But thanks for letting me. I appreciate it, Miss T. Swerve. Keep on swerving, man. Don't let him catch you.
Daniel, thank you so much. I appreciate you popping in. <laughs> Unless she's voting to remove law, she serves the government. You know, most of the judges are qualified. They are actually fucking vetted. They may have 20 judges for one position and they go through them and then make, yeah, most judges are qualified. Most judges don't get a judgeship when they've been been a judge been a attorney less than four years. Yeah, I still don't know how Amy Phony Baird became a Supreme Court justice. <laughs> because they're following the plan. I still I even even following the plan. I mean it, it's to a point once I saw that it was thirty seven days. That it took from her being picked to her confirmation to her being seated. 37 days. And at that point, I was like, well, shit, they're not even trying to hide it no more. I keep saying, they had, they said a 100-year plan. That was in the 80s. Newt Gingrich. We got a whole hell of a lot more. And they got a lot more pages in that book, in that plan, to pull out. They're just basically waiting. When do we get another Republican president in there? They wanted they what I see, and this is just me, and I know some people don't like talking about the handmaid's tale, but I see them trying to turn the United States into Gilead. Oh, not only that, I keep trying to tell poor Caucasian people they want y'all for indentured servitude. They want your children out there working, not learning, working. They want you to barely be able to make your bills put food on the table and you will accept anything they give you. Yep. Y'all didn't go along with Barrett. She got confirmed on, across party lines. Yeah. They had control of the, of the Senate. The Senate controls what judges are accepted and hired. Hey, Rose. And at the time, McConnell controlled it. And in the meantime, they just want to keep America dumb. That's it. Hey, they bro, wanna, how you doing? They just want to. They just want to keep everybody dumb. There's, uh, there. I mean, you know, I heard, I heard somebody call somebody an angry black woman this morning. I'm like, y'all just like, y'all, y'all don't even say the quiet part anymore. You just come out and say it. I heard a, a Yahtzee sympathizer on with Judge earlier today. Like y'all just y'all just come out and say it now. And as far from a political standpoint, I would say they're on about what year thirty of the hundred year plan. Mm-hmm. They got a whole lot more shit they want to throw against the wall. Someone, if if, if all you got is. Who got rid of slavery? You might want to remember a little saying that um, that Lincoln said. If I could save the nation, the unity of the nation, and keep slavery, I I'd do it. Yep. But the only way to keep the nation is to get rid of slavery. He was fine either way. Mm -hmm. Thank you for doing it. But he was fine. So stop riding that mule. It could, as far as Lincoln was concerned, it could have gone either way. There you go. That's the bottom line. That's it. Stop it. Stop shoveling that. Because you better believe conservative Republicans in the North, they were making money too. They sure was. Come on, man. You, you already know. You already Salute know. Listen to me carefully. Lincoln didn't care. He just wanted to preserve the nation. And that was his ultimate goal, was to preserve the dignity of the nation without without you know, other countries looking at us going, wow, we got rid of this a long time ago. What the hell's wrong with America? Pretty much yeah. like the countries are looking at us right now. Mm -hmm. 
What the hell is yeah. wrong with America? Yeah, and to preserve the nation, Sue. You can stick taxes in there and then slavery, whatever. It was to preserve the unity of the nation. Full stop. And the Southern Constitution, before the Civil War started, the Southerners, they created their own constitution. And guess what was in it? Didn't have nothing to do with taxes. We want to own people. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Any excuse whatsoever. And I'm loving, I loving how everybody all of a sudden seems to care about certain things when they never cared about them before. But some people are coming out now realizing, that, hey, wait a minute, you know what? This might affect me. I might have backed the wrong horse. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, I and the wrong horse. I don't know what the hell is wrong with DeSantis, but y'all folks down in Florida. Yeah, what is this? Y'all, y'all, y'all live on basically an island that sticks out into the ocean where hurricanes hit you and you lose access to gasoline because he has no infrastructure to protect it. But he won't be president of a whole ass country. I don't get it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to find right now, um, where they're trying to hold up, let me see. Florida tries. Oh yes, there are there are warnings in other countries. Don't go to America. It's the bad place. The hell? Uh no, y'all been y'all had a shortage due to that flooding for gasoline for almost oh, over a week. Target, you want to list exactly where you couldn't get gasoline due to the flooding, the heavy rain? Can't control it, but you're supposed to plan for it. You know you get hurricanes. Hey, if I live in a state where I know I get snowstorms, I make sure I have a shovel. I make sure I have ice um, if necessary. I have chains on my tires. Girl, don't don't even don't even trip. I I thought I was gonna have to break out my shovel yesterday. So I'm looking. You have not this. had a hurricane, then you must not be in Florida traveling. Oh, okay, God. there you go. True, that's someone from Florida, from Fort Lauderdale down to Miami. You were unable to get gas. Florida House passes bills affecting LGBTQ plus community. Vocal protesters toss underwear at them. They now have bathroom use restrictions. Uh, I mean, wow, this is, I I don't know. I might have to go through this bill because this is a lengthy bill. Apparently. Wait a minute, hold up. Hey, true. When your hurricane season start? Because I'm headed that way the end of August. I'm supposed to be doing a cruise the end of August. Is that hurricane season for y'all? Protests at the Capitol with a group right of women voices, which also protested against a recently passed bill banning most abortions after six weeks. Yeah, we know how that bill went over. He signed that one in the middle of the night. God damn it. SB 254 would put that rule into the statutes and make it a third degree felony for a doctor to violate the law of gender gender affirming care in any way, shape or form. And this is what I don't understand. With every marginalized community that Ron DeSatan and the Republican legislature has marginalized in the state of Florida, what makes you think this is going to resonate on a national scale? These same people are going to vote for him to be their president. Are you kidding me? Why would you vote for somebody who clearly hates you? Wait, tell me something. Tell me something. 
it was supposed to be about the children. Why did you expand it to adults? I thought it was about the children. Yeah. When you hit 18, it shouldn't be none of the government's fucking business. It, it's just it's just insane. Well, look what they tried to do. They wanted to defund uh, several HBCUs down in Florida. Well, no, I take that back. Not HBCUs. They wanted to defund several universities in Florida that have diversity, equity, and inclusion programs. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with y'all? You can ready to take away something that they've had for over a decade now? It doesn't matter. But they don't understand why they're fascist. Every LGBTQ's IA issue. Here's the thing. Mind your fucking business. If somebody wants to get their woohoo cut off, it's not your business. If someone wants to add a yaya, a clam trapper, clam, clam trap, it's not your fucking business. So, you okay, baby? So, here's the bill I was looking for. SB 1438, which would create penalties for businesses that allow children into adult live performances, like, you know, that happens all the time. Um, critics worry that the broad language in the bill will have a chilling effect on drag shows across the state. Although the bill does not explicitly name drag performances, it does specify that the lewd exposure of prosthetic or imitation genitals would qualify as an adult performance. Because... What? You know, that happens all the time. Make that make sense. Please make it make fucking sense. When does that happen? I keep wondering, why is no one suing him personally? Seriously. Why is not anyone taking a crack at him personally? Check check this out. Check this out. The bill emerged as the dissent, the Satan administration has targeted venues that have hosted drag performances with minors in the audience, even when state regulators present at the shows found no lewd acts of any kind. Then what do you care? He don't, he don't care. He is a pure fascist. And if the people <clears throat> of Florida don't, don't realize Sooner or later, he's gonna turn his sight on you. He will find something. You're wearing you're wearing gray on blue day. Your hair yep. should be cut two inches shorter than it is. We're gonna get you. These are yep. facts of what this man is doing. He's just picking. Oh, it's Monday. I'm gonna go after this group because I'm the governor. I don't, I don't, he, if they can't see him for a fascist and the people still supporting him, you're all fascist. And I'll say that with my whole chest and I don't give a shit who's recording it, put it on whatever. Yeah, I'm going to say it with my whole chest. He's a fascist. And if you still support that party, you too are a fascist. You are right, Chosen. Yes, he is getting worse because no one is challenging him on this shit. No one has had a service processor show up at the fucking governor's mansion going, knock, knock, knock. Yeah, we're suing you for $12 million. Harassment. Yep. Yes, harassment. What do you mean you can't have fuck that? And I they need so. to be lined up knocking on his door one after the other. Serve him, serve him, serve him again. Yeah, it should be... Uh... It should be governor. Your one o'clock server is here. Oh, we just the twelve fifty five server just left. Yeah, I know that's how much you're being sued. Mm -hmm. Pretty soon you're going to be just as litigated as Donald Trump. Congratulations. There you go, Sweden. Congratulations. Absolutely. They and and I'm sorry if you can't if you don't recognize what fascism is. Like I, I hear people all the time. There's probably someone in your comments right now. 
just waiting on me to say socialism. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't even understand what social socialism is, the bringing together wealth for the redistribution of wealth to benefit the citizenry of where you live. That's why yep. we're able to pay for schools, roads, sidewalks, firefighters, police officers, hospitals in some cases. That's why yep. we're able to pay for that stuff. That is us taking all of the money that we that they collect on our property taxes to do these things. That is in and of itself what socialism is. But That's as it. far as they're concerned, socialism is bad. Well, you know what? If you think socialism is bad, if you ever need the police, don't call them. Just run. No, 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 Don't run let, to let, a police let, station either. And let's stop with the sewer lines. Get out a slot pot, like back in the old days. Oh, yeah. Do your okay. business, dig a hole, pour it in, and then cover it up, and then repeat. Yeah, go get you one of them old school chamber pots. You don't like socialism. Go, go you don't get like you one of them old school water. chamber pots. And and that's the that's the funny part of it. They don't even know what it is. They think they know what it is because somebody told them it was bad, just like critical race theory. But they cannot oh, recognize okay. fascism when it's staring them right in the god dang face. Don't don't make them have a meltdown. Don't say CRT. Oh my God, someone's gonna burst into freaking flames. History. It, it wouldn't surprise it wouldn't surprise me right now if somebody was sitting there behind their phone rolling around on the floor right now trying to put themselves out when we say it's CRT. <laughs> we are in a socialist country, Leland. You That's why we have roads. That's why we have fresh water. That's why we have clean air. And Smith is just a troll or a flat out racist. Sitting here talking about he can't wait for history to repeat itself. You mean you mean maybe when your ancestors were indentured servants? Yeah, you're right, conversation. We don't have any clean air. We've been trading it out with China, apparently. According to old Put Puddinhead. Where do you think we got fresh water? Roads. These are socialist programs that we use to build our roads, our schools, our firefighters, our police officers, our county sheriffs and deputies. Clean food, FDA. The, the salaries of all the federal employees, taxes. That, oh my God. I, I don't, oh. Swerve, swerve, swerve. I, I just, I just, I, I, I don't know what else to say. This is why me and my wife live in the country. We got clean air out here. We don't even have so much as light pollution out here. U Ulysses S. Grant, over a hundred years ago, told the truth. It's going to be the a division between actual patriots who really know what the hell patriotism is intelligence and superstition ambition and ignorance on the other side yes ma'am yeah you're right water the 911 school system or the 911 system hospitals used to be all private if you didn't have the money your ass just died you better get a couple of leeches and let them suck on whatever's wrong with you Yep. A hospital cannot turn you away. Socialism. Public schools. <gasps> Socialism, which is something they're trying to kill. And unfortunately, the more ignorant parents are the ones just helping them. Throw some dirt on it. it ain't this, this is a video on here of a parent screaming at a librarian because they didn't like what books were in the school. You should be going to jail. That's ridiculous. Lady, I'm a librarian. I'm not the, I don't decide what books go in here. If your kid gets the book, maybe you should be talking to your kid. Exactly. Good and, Lord. But they don't, they don't see none of that because it ain't, they, they don't, they don't understand socialism and they can't recognize fascism. 
And you know why they can't understand or see them? It's because they're uneducated. They won't read. They won't try to read. They're just going to wait on somebody to tell them that this is bad. Maze. Knock it off, Satan. They just try to tell them that this is bad. And Here's they the thing. Go, Socialism bad. It, 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 mm. Oh, I'm sure Florida, Florida is growing like crazy. So is North Carolina. More like Florida is sinking. So is North crazy. Carolina. This man out on a world, on a national book tour in China, and his state is flooding, and they short of gasoline, and they, I guarantee you, they sitting there blaming Joe Biden for it. Wait a minute. You're going to Europe for a book tour. When your own book is banned in your own state. What kind of shit does that... What the... Wait, is it really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yes. They used his rules for books and it's actually banned in Florida. It can't be in schools. Mm -mm. Well, shit, I didn't hurt it all now. That's just... So, one of his own... You're telling me one of his own <laughs> rules have come back and bit him in the ass? Yes, it has. Wow. Yes, it has. Wow, that's hilarious. That is freaking hilarious. But we said it was just a matter of time before their 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 own rules would sooner or later come back and bite them right in the butt. He has his people working real hard to change the state constitution so that he will be able to run for president. Because think about it. You are the fucking governor, and you did not realize you can't run for govern for president if you're the governor. You have to resign. Yep, he would have to resign. Like like I read that law out to you yesterday, T. Yep. He would have yep. to resign 10 days before he declares he's running. Yep. Mm-hmm. And now they're so trying to change that. And it's like you said earlier, it's good for thee, but not good for me. That would be like me campaigning to get a job and not realizing, oh, wait a minute, before I actually get this job, I have to resign this job. Yeah. Yeah. Hell no. That's what they are. And well, during the debates, that dude asked him, was he going to resign? Is he going to commit to being the people's governor of Florida for four years? Or is he going to resign so he can run for president? Well, you know, what we need to really look at is the wokeness that we have going on in Florida. He just immediately deflected, never answered it, wouldn't answer it. Wow. Wow. The hypocrisy, like I've said a dozen of times, the hypocrisy for me knows no bounds. It knows none. I don't, I don't understand. If, if they change, T, I guarantee you, if they change that law and he doesn't become president, he's going to have them, he's going to see if they can rewrite the law to reinstate him as governor. I guarantee you he'll try that shit. That's exactly what he's going to do. Hey, listen, I just want y'all to tweak it that I can resign, but you don't have to put out an election for someone else or my, my, my lieutenant governor can step up temporarily and then if I lose I can come right back and he can bump, get bumped back down yeah and yeah because that's what people want to do when they rise to a position of leadership they immediately want to get knocked down because you weren't good enough to go and do the next thing yep exactly why would he he has power here well yeah you're right about that 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 sounds I mean that sounds like some old Beavis and Butthead shit it really does. That sounds like something straight up out of Beavis and Butthead. I can't even. <laughs> I, I want to be. I want to be president. You can't be president, Beavis. You have to resign first. <laughs> We're gonna change law. <laughs> yeah, but you still lose a governorship, Dingus. Is he going to win presidency? 
DeSantis wow. has been going from state to fucking state, and I don't believe it's just to promote his goddamn book. West this Virginia. man been dipping his toe, and when he went to D.C. and those representatives from Florida came right out and said, "No, nah, we're going to be supporting Trump." Yeah, we had a very productive meeting, but we're going to be supporting Donald Trump. Yeah, <laughs> good luck. Good luck with either one of them fools winning anything. Mm-mm-mm. You spend four years as governor demonizing and criminalizing probably some of the very people that voted for you. What the hell makes you think that's going to resonate on the national scale? I cannot believe the stupidity in the Republican Party right now. And I cannot believe they actually want to sit there and come on to our lives and tell us, well, we just need to figure out a way to come together. No. No, no, don't. I'm, I'm not coming together with fascists not, and not, white not supremacy. Ever. I'm not doing it. I'm going to bring up one more thing. Mike Pence. Uh. <laughs> Even though you were not at, at the tablet, I heard that laugh. Mike Pence actually had the nerve to say, he would be all for a national ban of the um, metathesone pill, the abortion pill. He'd be, he'd be all for a, a ban, a national ban on it. Yeah. A national ban on a pill that is sold in 80 different fucking countries mm-hmm. where women have control over their own body if they choose to use it or not. Yet, women have more freedom in America than anywhere else. That. That's an American exceptionalism. Bullshit. When I when I heard him say that, I was like, I wonder if mother is making him say that. Because he can't possibly believe this garbage. And the problems, you know, I said this in someone's live yesterday, T. I said the problems that we have in this country, they don't have in other countries. Women have the ability to make their own health care decisions without someone stepping in. The LGBTQIA plus community, they live free and happy or as happy as they can be. They don't have these issues that we have here. They don't have the gun violence that we have here. They don't have none of that. And then Mike Pence gets his goofy behind on TV and says, I'd be all for a national ban. So once again, you got an old white dude with no medical background trying to make decisions for women mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. once again yep yep it's ridiculous you know what their ticket should be they'd have a better chance with mike pence and herschel walker in 2024 because they ain't they ain't got a snowball's chance in hell with trump or to satan okay donald trump lost the popular vote two times in a row um so yeah his votes ain't there no more Ron to Satan, he's marginalized so many people and demonized so many people. That ain't going to resonate on a national scale because he thinks there, there's more of him than there are of me. And, and, and just, um, hey, healthy debate. Yes, Biden is a old white dude. Fuck Joe Biden. What's your point? Yeah, right. I, I don't. Oh, they they're they're just uh they're just a special special group of people. That's all I can uh, say. <laughs> I gotta check that I gotta I gotta catch that on YouTube. Rick said Ray Epps is giving an interview on sixty minutes right now. Really? And I hope he says he's gonna sue the fuck out of those people who tried to throw him tried to basically persecute him. He's on 60 Minutes right now? It's, yep, it's 7.30. Damn. What is that, CBS? Yeah, yeah. Let me see if I can pull it up here real quick. I just want to see if he's there, because if he is, I can hit my DVR Ooh. from my iPad. Because I love yeah. to hear what he's got to say. I'll, I'll, I'll catch you later. I will catch you later. Thank you, Rick, for the up, up, um, the heads up. Right now, we have Chris Christie and um, a couple of the people who decide they want to run. If we 
Yeah, yeah. We need. He needs to tell it all. He needs to rip him a new butt. But then again, there will be those Trumplicans who will not believe. Uh, is that yeah. the one where the English guy got schooled by Katie, um, Katie Porter? Is that the one you mean? <laughs> this dude is sitting here talking about if Ray Epps is some kind of plant, some kind of undercover plant, he's the worst of undercover plant anybody could have ever tried to use. <laughs> Like I said, they're, they're a special group of people, T, because uh, Ray Epps, like, I mean, really, that's the whole January 6th thing was Ray Epps' fault. But when you ask the question, why were they even there? You know, somebody tried telling me, T, well, uh, you know, they had six permits that day, none of which allowed them to go into the Capitol. So what's your point? Yeah, they were what's all grown up. These were not children. If you, if you are walking in a crowd and someone starts breaking in windows, kicking in fucking doors, if you choose to follow them, that is your problem. Yeah. Unless somebody picks you up and carries you in there, you're responsible for that shit. But we, hold on, we got off track again. Oh, sorry. I, I want to go, I want to go back to, uh, to pencil head pens. Remember, this man actually sent people to gay conversion therapy camps. He donated and funded them hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, when he was the governor in Indiana. Yep. yep. And what I could not believe, at the end of the day, the one thing I could not believe, when you had Donald Trump, who was clearly homophobic and still is, and then you had Mike Pence, who is clearly homophobic and still is. I don't understand how people in the LGBTQI plus community voted for either of them. Well, well, you got to remember, they played that game well. And right up until last August, when they kicked the uh, log cabin Republicans, LGBTQIA, out of the Republican Party. Yeah, they sure did. They sure did. I just, I, 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 I agree with you there, Target. I think Pence might be in the closet. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I I'd go with that. Yep, I would definitely go with that. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold y'all up much longer. We're gonna wrap this up, and we'll have another conversation tomorrow evening. No, nah, girl, you know it's all good. I, I know. I know you got to get to work in the morning. I get it. I, you know I understand. And I ain't mad at you. But uh, I'm sitting here looking at Ray Epps' wife right now. And she actually kind of looks like she could easily be Mike Pence's sister. Oh, okay. Now, okay. That's, okay. that's kind of okay. weird. But okay, anywho. Mm -hmm. All right, remember, we came here tonight for the tea, not the Kool-Aid. Y'all can see Miss T over on Spotify, Conversations with T. Y'all, everybody have fun. Be safe while you're doing it. I'm going to get down from here, T. You have a great evening. Good night, Miss T. Night, honey. Be well. Woo! T. <laughs> Guys, y'all have a good evening. You can look me up over on Spotify, Conversations, Tea Time with T. We have got to pay attention. Yeah, it's a um it's a convention of states. That's a step. The next step is to try to move on to a oh my goodness, I went blank. A um to a constitutional convention. That entails rewriting and editing of our constitution and that shit is fucking dangerous. We are in the midst of Newt Gingrich's 100 year plan and the republicans are sticking to it step by step while the democrats are totally failing on organizing anything to countermand it y'all take care be well remember trust the tea not the kool-aid night guys bye-bye
Moderators, y'all be well. Thank you always for your support. Oh, I'm going to wonder over the barrister too. Bye-bye.